Good afternoon. It's raining. I don't know if you can hear the rain on the car. That's not what we want. <laughs> I just pulled up in Apple Tree Wick. I'm here for one of my favourite races of the year, runners and riders. So who will win this year? Is it the runners? Is it the riders? The course has been changed slightly to favour runners, but that just means, so what do the cyclists find hard? They find super hilly, bog, or technical descents. So either way, it's gonna be an awesome race. Cyclists won last year, so we shall see. Fingers crossed for the runners. But it's raining. It's a lovely sunny day in Leeds, and I wasn't expecting this. I think I've got a cap in my boots. I might dig that out, pop that on. Um, then I need to go and register, but oh, please stop raining. My camera hates the rain, so I'll try and film what I can, but fingers crossed this rain stops, and then it'll be a much better race. Although I was thinking the cyclists are gonna find it harder because lots of them wear glasses to cycle in, protect your eyes from the mud that's splashing up they're not going to be able to see in glasses. So I don't know what they'll do. Yeah, it'll be an interesting one. Anyway, better get myself sorted and uh, get registered. Heading into registration. Oh, there's a fire in here, so that's good. And entry forms on the table. I'm building my entry form. I've got my £10 and I'm queuing to get my number. I've got my number 155. I just need to find Norman now because he's running today. He's had a cold and he wasn't going to, but he is now. So let's go and find the caveman. We just all carrying around the fire because it's so cold. I'm trying to take this off, but I've gone vest. So I'm in leggings and a vest. I'm sort of thinking I should have worn shorts and long sleeves. Um, it's a bit late now. Everyone's having their picture taken with Norman because he's running in his caveman fancy dress. And I think he'll probably beat me today because uh, I have done too much this week in the gym. My legs hurt. I'm not even sure I'm going to get up this hill. I wimped out. The peer pressure. Everyone's got so many more clothes on me than me that I've just put a waterproof jacket on. I don't really want it, but it is windy. Um, anyway, so I'm going to run in this and probably at the top of the hill, I'll just take it off. Um, I'm going to be boiling, but it's so cold now at the start. It's so windy, they don't have a gazebo up this year, so... Anyway, let's see. Oh, this hill is so big, look at this. It's really hard to get perspective how big the hill is. But, if you look at the people at the top of that hill, that is a steep hill. Look at the people up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. My legs hurt just looking at that hill. Lots of Nid Valley. I remember videoing their team picture here last year. And there's Bush Riders, lots of them. Actually, I've seen a few Hyde Park carriers, so that's been nice. Can't see loads of bikes, which bodes well for runners. Grandad Norman has just done his warm up, and Ted's here. There's a quad bike. Does that mean we are having our race briefing? Maybe it does. It's so beautiful here, even on a bit of a rubbish day like today, the hills still look stunning. Apart from the one that we have to run up. Apart from that one there, which is not my friend right now. <laughs> Race briefing. I'm actually thinking I'm, I'm really going to struggle today. So everyone being told to get back in the box. Everyone's sort of coming up the hill. So I'm going to come up the hill with them. Oh, look at all the bikes. Right, listen up everybody. I say it every year. If you've done it before, when you get to the track at the top of you, keep left and make sure that everybody can pass on your right, especially some of the faster cyclists. And uh, keep that motto on the track all the way out and off the track or left so people can pass. Talk to each other, don't have any accidents. So as soon as the bike horn goes. Here we go, when the bike horn goes, that is the start. What an epic start line. Come on, runners! <laughs> off we go! Oh, some people are like going up, up, up. I might follow them. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure this is a good idea though. <laughs> oh, oh. 
So some people pushing their bikes, some people carrying their bikes. Lots of walking going on. Oh look, there's Grandad Norman. No breath. Oh my gosh. This hell. Normally in a race, when everyone's walking, they're like chatting. This is silent. No one is chatting. <laughs> we do not have any breath. This is so hard. So windy. So cold. So steep. <laughs> Flattened out a little bit here. The runners have started running, but the riders aren't on their bikes yet. Ridiculous hill favours runners. And they're off. A little bit of downhill on a farm track. <laughs> Favour cyclists. Cyclists obviously favouring the track. Runners all favouring the grass. Track's a little bit slippy actually. So, ooh, you'll see. I'm just trying desperately to breathe. Cyclists flying past now on the farm track. Oh, there'll be some rivalry there. Two Nid Valley runners on the left. Nid Valley cyclists coming through. There's dedication to be supporting out here. Thank you so much guys. Well done. Thank you. Still on the farm track. Oh, the Nid Valley cyclist is off and walking, pushing his bike. So Ted said uh, it'd be about 300 metres longer today. I'm walking up this hill. My goodness. I've done way too much this week to be racing. My camera is wet. I have to put it away for a little bit. Get it back out when we're on the foggy moor. Grassy field. It's not wet enough. Favoured cyclist. Visibility up here, much as it was driving over Greenhow getting here. I'm sure you can hear it's super windy. Um, can't see a lot. What I can see ahead is a group of cyclists. The runners seems to have the runners seem to have pushed on. And my feet are very wet, so it's no longer a hard grassy field. It's a wet grassy field. Favours runners. Now we're talking. Every foot is a squelch. It's muddy, foggy. I nearly sucked my shoe off. Luckily, I've got them pretty tight. Boggy Moor definitely favours runners. We're catching up to the cyclists. Some bikes being carried, some sort of spinning out and getting stuck in puddles. Just sunk pretty deep there. It's uh, really nice to have taken some bikes. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Boggy Moor. I love jumps. We're gaining on two more bikes. Is it wrong to be pleased the bikes are struggling on this bit? I don't think so. It's a race. Runners versus riders. Come on, runners. I can't wait to see what the result is see who wins and if the course change has really favoured runners we'll find out oh no downhill <laughs> favoured cyclist the Nid Valley runner he just lost his shoe <laughs> that's not going to favour runners <laughs> we need to keep our shoes on cyclists are walking ahead though oh this is why see, we can just Leap over that! Oh my gosh, that was deep! <laughs> I film a few people over that, that is deep enough to be exciting. <laughs> Yay, kept your shoes! <laughs> Uphill! Yay! <laughs> Got a little cat and mouse thing <laughs> on the downhill. 
winner on the uphill. And uh, <laughs> I think we just love the struggle, really. Oh no, did you fall off? She got stuck and had to bail. <laughs> this bit favours runners then, hooray! <laughs> He thinks all of it favours running so far. I think it's easy to feel like that. I think it's just really, really hard. This is a brutal headwind along here. Oh my gosh. We've got some technical descent and ascent to come. But downhill. <laughs> Favours riders, oh gosh, the window. Off she goes. The wind is relentless, making it pretty hard. But underfoot is dried up a bit. So runners and riders, neck and neck. In a horrific headwind, favours no one. <laughs> oh my god. What do the cyclists do? Do the cyclists get up there? No way, can they fit through there? Oh my god. sort of go along here and then there's a dip down which is really tricky and um, I'm really steep actually I wonder if you can see everyone working their way up the fell in the background oh tiny bit of protection from the wind here just slightly oh really nice I'll tell you what I wouldn't want to be on this bit with bikes coming past It'd be pretty scary, I think. They just fly down here. Oh, I need to concentrate. I'm sort of going the wrong way. <laughs> you could probably fly down here on a bike, but I think this bit probably favours runners. Because you're going to have to have nerves of steel to <laughs> do this on a bike. I bet those front riders do just bomb down here. There's not a lot to hit if they do overshoot it. Um, I'd actually love to come and watch here one year with a camera. <laughs> and to uh, see what happens at that point. I bet it's super interesting. Right, going back up now. You can just about, just up here, see runners and cyclists dipping off the edge there and everyone in front of me walking. The riders that ride that technical descent, I take my hat off to you. Um, <laughs> you can't have some balls of steel to do that. Not sure if you can see behind me. The runner's overtaking, the cyclist pushing his bike. So, and actually ahead, we're catching up a few cyclists. The crazy steep technical descent favours runners. Ridiculously steep inclines, like the start hill, and like this horrific hill favours runners nearly at the top of the hill. Going along here, you can probably see the cyclists there, just got back on their bikes. The scenery is spectacular, but it's cold and very, very windy. <laughs> right, let's get up this hill. Speaking to the marshal there, it's frozen. It's an icy wind. And he's just got that blowing in his face, so thank you to all of the marshals they're super cheery in these horrific conditions. <laughs> what a day. Back on the farm track now. I think if there's any riders, this is it now. They'll come past. Their headwind is brutal. I feel like you're running and not getting anywhere. I guess slow the cyclist down a bit. We're all pretty spaced out now. Um, 
which is the farm track and then the downhill with the slalom um, <sighs> my teeth hurt it's so cold and I've been smiling too much and this wind really hurts it's so cold I think I'm going to run like this <laughs> is, that, is that okay? people will be like what the hell is wrong with her? Um, <laughs> oh, not too far to go now <laughs> I'm loving it too much I need to love it less smile less running back through the farm it's nice to have a bit of protection from the wind oh bike coming definitely favours them massively although they will have to work for it because it is uphill but uh, yeah can't compete on a surface like this farm track even uphill favours riders not far to go now bikes flying off and uh, we'll see what this slalom in the field is like thank you so much here we go gosh the bikes are just flying down here wow i'm watching him catch up the runner in front fly past to go for the next runner thank you so much I definitely haven't tried as hard as I did last year. I just more enjoyed it. Last year it was proper racing, Grandad Norman, you know. We had a proper race. <laughs> um, it does make you run fast if you race with somebody. I really want a bike to fly past me now. Just uh, for the excitement. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Oh my gosh, the wind. They should let the runners run straight down there. That's the finish. And make the bikes do the slalom. Because it's hard work. Is that our last turn? I think it might be. Oh, thank goodness. Wind is behind us now. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> what a tricky race oh this is the home straight this field is an ankle breaker not one for weak ankles the camber gosh right where are these bikes they're probably all finished i think i can see a couple at the top of the hill so i'll get in see if i can film them coming really want one to fly past me though come on bikes I've spotted a bike. There's one coming. This is what I wanted. Well, there's some riders. Come on, riders. The finish is only just ahead. Bike is just behind me. <laughs> ah, I feel chased. <sighs> my goodness. So fun. Are they going to come? Are they going to come? Oh my gosh, it's coming. It's coming. He's coming. No. No! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, almost on the line. <laughs> what a great ride, well done. And this is it, into the finish. Oh, 155. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I heard that man just say there's some good looking cake. <sighs> I'm gonna go and find the cake got beaten by a rider <laughs> well done did you have to work hard for it yeah. oh good it was, it was hard work um i was thinking i might get to the finish line before you but i couldn't do it well done <sighs> oh there's a runner and a rider where's she going she's going the wrong way no the bike's coming the bike's coming oh yes amazing well done this time last year there were loads of people here it was a lovely day big gazebo um, you could just stand here for ages and cheer people in but not today that is like a recipe for hypothermia so i'm gonna go and get some layers on because <laughs> it's so cold 
and obviously find the cake. It would be rude not to. Um, oh, I haven't stopped my Garmin. There we go. Always forget. I uh, absolutely loved it. Yes, it was grim. The wind was <laughs> ridiculous. Like next level, ridiculous. Um, I just couldn't stop smiling. It's such a fun concept. Thank you, Ted. Cakes, cakes and hot drinks. Oh gosh, that's what we need. Let's go and see. Oh, everyone's steaming. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is like... Oh, I forgot how good the cake was. I'm thawing out. I found a nice little corner of the barn and I've just proper stripped all my wet clothes off because it's so cold now that I'm wet and finished. Um, I've made myself a hot chocolate. It's so thick I can stand the spoon up in it. That's what I want. I'm going to go and get some cakes now that I can start getting warm and reflect on what an awesome race that was. I think I'm going to get some cake and find a fire. That's what I need. I'd like to say I've warmed up, but I have not. <laughs> so cold. So I'm taking my cake. It's actually my second cake. And I'm uh, going to head back to the car where I've got a heated steering wheel and heated seats because that's what I need. <laughs> I'm so freezing cold. Shame about the weather. But it did make it interesting because that wind was incredible and it makes you feel alive to be out in conditions like that. Just spoken to the guys. Unfortunately, rider first, rider second, runner third. So they said it was closer than it has been previously. So the course alteration did work. Maybe we just need a little bit more rain and then maybe the runners will win. Either way, a fantastic day. So huge thanks to Ted and to everybody else who helps put this race on, especially the marshals. Gosh, they must be so cold. Hope they've warmed up. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon on a running adventure.